In this video, we're going to have a look at a couple different ways that you can use URLs in your Power BI report. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and also some of the interesting ways that you can use URLs like creating dynamic URLs and also opening up your mailbox. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So adding hyperlinks to your Power BI reports is a pretty easy way for your users to follow information outside of your Power BI reports. Maybe you want to link your customers to different sites, documentations, or other places where it might add value or insights for them. And Power BI provides a couple different ways that you can add URLs to your report. So let's start with a super simple one. So I've created here a demo report for us to work on today. So I have a list of some of the boroughs that we have here in London. And what you'll find is that we have the name of the borough as well as the full URL, which if you access it, will take you directly to these web pages. So let's say we want to visualize this into our report here. So we're gonna bring in the borrow and the full URL here. So as you can see, we have the full list of the URL, so the whole URL in text form. And we might want something like a URL link for our users to click. So for us to convert this into something that they can click, we simply need to, first of all, change the category of this column into, an, into a web URL. So to do that, we simply select the column from the data tab on the right-hand side and change the data category into a web URL. So as you can see, it adds that color that everyone is familiar with, as well as an underline, which signifies that it's a link that you can click. So if you click on that, it will just take you to the site where that link goes to. And I think this works. However, we usually don't show the full URL when we have links to sites uh, because it's, it takes a lot of space. So you might want to shorten this. And when you're using tables or matrix, you can shorten this by making it into a link icon instead. So what we can do is on the format settings here, under URL icon, you have this toggle, which will let you toggle that value to show instead of the full URL link to show us this icon is instead, which is just a link icon, which if you click, will do the same thing. It will just take you to that web page. However, again, when you interact with web pages, you're not really presented with a link icon like this. It's typically tied to a name or a a written word. So like, for example, where you would expect this link to be is in the actual name Borough of London, City of Westminster. These would be the clickable links that you would expect or where you would expect these URLs to be. So you can also do that by going to the conditional formatting options in the, in the table. So if we go to cell elements, you will have in the borrow just make sure that series is selected. There is this web URL that you can customize. So if we toggle that, it will open up this window for us, which if you simply change the field value to be the full URL, and we'll keep the summarization to first, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if we hit OK, it will convert those borrow names into URLs that you can click. Just bear in mind that if you want to use this option, it works well if you are using the table visual. However, if you use the matrix visual, you can only apply links directly onto the values themselves. So I've just converted this into a matrix visual. If I move the URL into the value section, as you can see, we have those links still working. However, when you go to cell elements, you will only have the option to add this URL link onto the values itself, not on the actual 
rows subtotal or this category so just bear that in mind if you want to use those types of URL link now let's have a look at a different scenario let's say instead of having the full URL we actually don't have access to the full URL and you only have access to the relative URL which is the the name of the borrow for example so you don't have this full URL and you need to create this you can also do this quite easily in Power BI so you can create some sort of dynamic URL now this is a very simple example of how you can use dynamic URLs, but as you can imagine, you can do it for things like pagination or creating offsets uh, as part of your custom functions. So this is the most simplistic way that I can explain how you can use dynamic URLs. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new measure. I'm gonna call this one link. And we're gonna prefix this by adding, first of all, the root URL, which is basically the part of the site that never changes. And then we're gonna suffix it by the relative URL that we have in our table. So we're gonna, since it's a measure, we're gonna wrap it into something that's aggregated like max, and then we're gonna refer to it like this, relative URL. So now, we have done that we should be able to just use it like any other url links in our table so i'm gonna add the link here oh just make sure that you change the data category into a web url and there you go so those links should be working just fine now that you know how it works in visuals like tables or matrix let's have a look at some other visuals where you can add url link so let's have a look at buttons which you will find under the insert ribbon at the top so buttons is one of those visuals that you can hook up a bunch of actions to not just web url uh, we're just going to look at how you can hook it up with a web url at the moment so we're gonna choose a random button here. So we'll just use the left, or sorry, the right icon over here. So with it selected, you will see on the format options or format pane on the right hand side, you have this action, which if you enable, will let you choose what type of action you want this button to trigger when it's selected or when it's clicked. So you have a bunch of different options here from bookmarks, drill through, but the one that we are actually interested in is the web URL. So if you select that, as you can see, it will open up this or it will let you modify this web URL using conditional formatting, which if you use, it will let you choose what this button or which URL this button goes to. So for this purposes, we're just gonna simply select the link that we have just created. Now this button is dynamic which means that it will always take whatever is the value of that link that we have created. So since there is no, or it's not part of the table context here, it will select the first one that is available that it, it shows. So if we just present the link here in a card, just to show you which link it, it's gonna go to. So this one is gonna go to Kensington if we click on it. However, if you select and add a filter on this button, like for example, we choose Wandsworth in this table, you will see that the link changes to go to Wandsworth. And now if we control click from desktop, as you can see, it opens up the London Borough Wandsworth. So that is how the action works in buttons. Shapes and images work the same way. So you can insert them like, for example, let's insert the rectangle here. They both or they all have the ability for you to add actions. The same way that you add actions for the buttons, you can also add actions to various shapes or images if you'd like. And again, you can hook it up with a web URL like how we've done it before, choose the link measure that we've created and hit OK. So this will function the same way that the button functions. Apart from that, you can also insert URLs in text in the text visual that you add into your pages. So for example, if we add a text box here, 
and let's just say click here to go to Wikipedia you can add like for example in this section of the of this sentence that we have just written you can highlight it like this insert the link and then insert the link where you want this link to go to so let's say wikipedia.com as you can see it adds that color and that underline just to signify that this this text or this bit of the text can be clicked which will open up a URL. The only disadvantage to this is that it's not dynamic and as far as I can see there is no way for you to add any conditions to adding this link. So when we use the insert link there is no way for us to customize it. So just one thing to bear in mind if you want to use URLs in text boxes. You can also use web URLs to do other things like for example open up your mailbox to mail a specific person. So let's have a look at an example here. I'm gonna open up a new page here. And what I have is this employee email table, which is simply just a list of employees, names, and their email addresses. And let's say we want to give the users the ability to select a person, which if you select it, will open up your mailbox with the two parts of your email already filled in for that person. So maybe it's a contact information for this person. So what you can do is you can prefix your email addresses with a mail too. So uh, let's start by creating a new measure. Let's say we're gonna call this one mail too. And we're gonna prefix it with a mail too. Uh, with something like this and then we're gonna add the email so max email like this we need to make sure that it's categorized as a web URL and now if we drag it here as you can see it's now it's, it's a link it's a URL link that you can click and if you click on it because I'm opening it in Power BI Desktop, it will just give you a notice like this that it's gonna open something outside, which is fine. But if you open it in the Power BI service, it won't give you this message. So what it will do is it will simply open up the mailbox, my mailbox. And as you can see, the two section of this mail is already pointing towards the person that we clicked here in this link. So if we just test it again, we'll just test James. We'll do click, allow, just give it a few seconds. And there you go. So as you can see, it's automatically filled to be sent to James. So not all URL types will work in Power BI. So there is a list of URLs that you can use in Power BI, which I will list somewhere in the screen. So if you have a URL link that doesn't start with this, then this, those URLs won't work when you click on them in Power BI. So just bear that in mind. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to implement URLs in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.